Hey everyone, welcome back to Bagel TCG. Today we're going to be looking at a tier list for upcoming Pro Tour New Jersey slash Calling slash Battle Harden. This is going to be a classic constructed tier list, which is the main kind of tier list that I focus on. Um, but before we hop into this tier list, I want to give a few shout outs. First, shout out to our sponsor, Whoopdom Wizard here. Um, Whoopdom Wizard is a great service. There's an affiliate link in the description below if you want to support the channel and get um, really fast shipping on sealed and singles for our flesh and blood. Um, also shout out to our two new patrons since our last video. We have Chris Simmons and Vincent. So thank you both um, for joining the Patreon, supporting me. Um, I'm also going to be opening up the Discord to just people that aren't just patrons. I want to grow that community. We're still a small community, so it didn't feel right to limit it to just patrons. That's going to make it a very small Discord. Um, so I'm just going to open up the Discord to all viewers. If it ever gets really big, I might limit it back to just patrons and then grandfather in people that um, you know joined before the Patreon limitation. But for now, I'd like to open it up to just all viewers. One last announcement. I know there's a lot at the beginning here, but I did get my promotional product um, from LSS. So we've got you know all of the Herald of Rebirths. So lots of Herald of Rebirths here. These are like the promo Herald of Rebirths that have like that extended frame. My video is really dark right now, but they're really pretty. You can see the full Herald there. Um, so really pretty. I'm going to be giving away uh, 10 play sets of these. So play set, not three of each. I'm gonna do one of each. So one blue, one yellow, one red. Um, you'll get one of each, so three total. Um, you need to follow the channel, leave a comment, like this video. And uh, yeah, just leave a comment telling me um, I don't know, maybe about the deck that you're going to be playing in Classic Instructed, how you feel about the meta right now. Um, I'll do a YouTube picker um, in the next few weeks, probably after Pro Tour New Jersey, just because I'm going to be really busy testing. So maybe like end of May, I guess I'll say June. Um, so beginning of June, I'll send these cards out. Uh, I'll pick 10 winners in the comments, send them out. Uh, one of each Herald of Rebirth, one color of each. Um, have a lot of them though. The rest are going to be going to Patrons. So if you join the Blueberry Bagel tier of Patron, um, I will be sending you a set also. This is going to be for the first 20 patrons that join that tier because I only have so many. Um, and then also I got these really nice Monarch play mats here. So we have, let's see, we've got this beautiful Celestial Cataclysm. Is he upside down? He's upside down. This beautiful little Celestial Cataclysm. And then we've got Doomsday and Eclipse as well. So, Doomsday and Eclipse. And these are going to be for the highest tier of patrons. These are for the Everything Bagel tier. If you're in that tier for three months, you will be sent one of these playmats randomly. Um, I appreciate all your support. I appreciate you guys supporting me. Hopefully going to be getting a, a new video camera soon. Going to do some nice stuff for the setup with the uh, patron money that we're getting. I'm able to support the channel. All the money at the beginning is going to be going right back into the channel here, trying to just make videos better for you all. Um, since I have no idea how to edit, obviously, maybe I'll be able to use some of that money to pay some editors or take some classes on editing or something like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I definitely appreciate LSS for giving us this product. Uh, they have in they gave in their content creator package even a description of how to use these for your Patreon and how to set up a Patreon. So that was really helpful as well. Um, and yeah, thank you LSS for that. Thank you for all the product. I know that was a lot of announcement at the beginning, but yeah, thank you to my patrons who've joined. The Discord is going to be open. I'll have it in a new video. I'm going to have like just a small video about the giveaway and about the Discord coming out like alongside this video. And uh, thank you to Whoopton Wizard. So after all that, let's hop in here. I apologize for the bit of a preamble. Um, let's look at Classic Constructed, right? So New Jersey is in like about a week from today, maybe I think it's a week and a day, like eight days is check-in night um, when we'll be in New Jersey. So not a lot of time to practice. We've got about a week um, and we're kind of on the grind right now. So like there's, there's a lot to look at. I think the three definitive best heroes are Starvo, Prism, and Chain here. But I think people have had trouble, uh, my team included, kind of deciding which hero is the best, right? So I, I truly can't tell you 100% and be confident that I know which of these three heroes is the best. I think they're all good choices going into New Jersey if you want to take down the event, take out any major events coming up. I think all three of these heroes are very competitive. They're very good. 
Um, and I think any of them would be good options if you want to try to take down a major event. Um, if I had to organize it, I would probably do it in this order with Chain being the best hero, then Starvo, then um, Prism. Starvo definitely lost some of his tools against Chain. Awakening was a really helpful tool for uh, after a big damage turn from Chain, being able to swing in with a big attack after. Uh, so losing Awakening really hurt that. And then also Autumn's Touches um, were really nice blocking cards. So like Starvo did definitely take a hit. I don't think he's the number one hero. I think the number one hero right now is Chain. Um, but I think Starvo and Prism are pretty close behind. And it's a bit of a rock, paper, scissors meta maybe. Like Starvo beats Chain, Chain beats Prism, Prism beats Starvo. But I don't think it's that rock, paper, scissors. It's more like this is a 50-50, this is a 50-50, this, like there's, you know, it's, it's more close than just a plain rock, paper, scissors. But that's our tier one heroes. Um, pretty close for all of them. Moving into tier two, um, it's honestly really hard to define the meta after tier one, just because it's so brand new with all these changes. Uh, we've only had a few weeks now, and it's really hard for me to say exactly. Um, I'm just going to put the heroes here that I think are maybe doing okay still, have a nice card pool, can put up results. Uh, it's going to be a lot of the heroes, though. I don't. I think it's pretty close for for tier two and three. Like, I don't think we're going to have even any like D tier heroes. I think the meta has kind of shrunk a little in terms of power disparity um, with Starvo taking some hits <clears throat> and Viserai no longer being OTK. OTK Viserai was a really powerful deck that actually limited a lot of decks. Right, like Oldham lost to OTK Viserai basically every time. Now Oldham only really auto loses to Prism, um, so he actually lo he he only has one auto loss as now to Prism. Maybe to Dash as well, but <clears throat> Dash also gets a little better with Starvo taking a hit. So I'd say the meta is really close here in tier two, and I'm honestly not exactly sure how to organize it. Viscera might be tier three, um, but the Rune Blade card pool is really good, so I, it's hard to put them any lower than this. <clears throat> all of these heroes are here because they can kind of beat one of these heroes, right? So Oldham and Lexi might have good game into Chain. Um, Dash and Briar might have good game into Prism. Uh, you know, maybe Viserai and Dory have good game into Starvo. I don't know if that's actually true. Um, but all of these heroes have some level of decent card pool and play into the Tier 1 decks. Once again, I'm not exactly sure how to organize them because the meta is pretty young still. Um, and it's pretty fresh meta still, right? I think if I'm just going to put it like this, I think this is probably the most correct organization of tier two that I can really just guesstimate right now. Um, I'm trying to organize it the best I can, but really the meta is so fresh. Uh, and I haven't had time with my team to test any decks that aren't in tier one, really. Like we've basically just been testing tier one decks. Um, we've tried a few of these tier two decks and they don't compete at the same level that tier one decks do. And then tier three, I mean, I, I, I don't know, maybe like, I guess all of these decks are tier three. I don't know if there is a tier four or, or a D tier right now. Like this is kind of like all the heroes that I just would recommend not playing. Um, I think all of these heroes have some issue. Uh, so maybe it's more like this. I don't know. Like the, I don't, it's hard to decide what's right here. You could maybe go like this and say that's tier three. Um, but really, it feels like these heroes are all really close in power level. These heroes are close in power level. And then these heroes are all just like having trouble right now. They're missing something, right? For example, Katsu has a lot of trouble into Starvo still um, and has no ability to race chain. Um, Bravo uh, Showstopper is just shown straight up by a star of the show. He's basically doing what star of the show does, but just worse in every way. Bolton still has tons of problems, has never been able to be a top deck since his release, really. Uh, he's just asking too much of the player. Uh, Kano still having some normal issues. If your opponent's running like AB3, you're just going to lose. <coughs> Levia is just having the same blood debt issues. She definitely needs a bigger card pool as well, and I would just recommend playing Reinar if you want to be on a Brute. And kind of similar to Levia and Reinar. For Azalea, you should just be playing Lexi if you want to be on Ranger. Azalea just doesn't <coughs> hold a candle to the power that Lexi does. So um, this is kind of the tier list, right? Like I would say probably don't touch these heroes. Um, 
they're just going to give you some kind of issue. Probably, I, I don't know if people have figured out Viserai quite yet. Uh, it's kind of weird. People have been trying him with Fandel Spring Tunic. Um, but I don't know if we're really sure where Viserai is supposed to be. I think if you can find a sneaky version, a spicy tech of any of these tier 2 decks, you might be able to do well in an event still. I don't think any of these are off the table, and I think you should still be preparing to see any of those um, at an event. And I think the tier 1 decks are going to be the majority of the meta. You know, maybe 60% of the meta is going to be each of these decks. They'll each have like a 20% meta share or something like that. Like pretty large chunk of the meta is going to be these three decks. Um, and you should have a game plan for all three of these. They're definitely the strongest decks in terms of power level in the meta right now. <clears throat> so yeah, thank you guys. Remember to like, subscribe, comment. Uh, remember to enter the giveaway, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and put a comment below uh, saying you want to enter the giveaway, and um, or just put a comment talking about you know what deck you're playing right now and tell me a bit about it. So. Definitely appreciate you guys. And if you want to look at a chance at those mats or a guaranteed chance at the promos, remember to check out the Patreon. That'll be linked below. Uh, yeah, once again, thanks to my affiliate, Whooped and Wizard, and to my new patrons, Chris Simmons and Vincent. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.